Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade your laptop's hard drive to an SSD without losing any data. I'll be using a serial ATA to USB cable, which I'll be using to plug in the SSD to the laptop. For this tutorial, I'm using a 64 gigabyte hard drive. I don't have a 240 available at the moment. So I'll go ahead and plug the, lap, the hard drive to the laptop. Once plugged in, I just need to make sure that it's properly detected by the laptop. Right click computer, manage, disk management. Here you'll notice that the uh, SSD is properly detected by the laptop and I'll be cloning a one terabyte to that 64 gigabyte SSD. Remember that what matters is the space used on that drive. So if I right click properties, the space used on that terabyte is 26 gigabyte, which is perfectly fine for that 64 gigabyte SSD. Now, if your data is much larger than the destination drive, I suggest you get a larger SSD. With that said, I'll go ahead and click on OK and exit computer management. For this tutorial, I'll be using Paragon Migrate OSSD. I've done many tutorials based on this program and I've used this on many of my clients. The program is not free. The link is in my website in the description box below. Once downloaded and installed, go ahead and run it. Yes, to the UAC if prompted. Next to the wizard, or you can read it and then click next, however you like. Now the wizard will auto detect Windows 7 64 bit on the C drive, which is one terabyte NTFS with 26 gigabyte used, which fits perfectly onto the destination SSD, which is 64 reading 59.7. Now remember, if the space used on that drive is larger than the destination drive, I suggest you get a larger SSD. Now because the destination drive is smaller than the source, I can leave it as is or if you don't know anything about partition, checkmark use all available space for partition with OS and click on copy. The process can take a while depending on how much information there is to copy from one drive to another. I'll edit the video so we won't be here for an hour or two. Once done, you can read what it says. It's basically telling you how to go about in case you're planning on keeping both drives onto a PC. But since this is a laptop, we're going to be swapping the drive and replacing it with the SSD. So I'll just close here, turn off the laptop, and then unplug the SSD, mouse, power cord, and remove the battery. Once you turn it, make sure to locate the uh, three disc symbol, which is a symbol for the hard drive and remove the panel using a screwdriver. The hardest part of uh, upgrading to an SSD is actually replacing the hard drive, which is not hard at all. Once you have replaced the drive, you have put back the uh, back plate and the battery. All you need to do is just 
power on the laptop and everything should be there. I don't recommend you to immediately delete the old drive. I'll suggest you wait at least a month because you never know how the new drive will perform on the laptop. Now, just to show you guys, I'll verify that the working hard drive right now is a 64 gig SSD. You don't have to verify that it's installed. I would try so to go back to uh, computer management, disk management, and you'll notice here that the working hard drive right now is the uh, SSD that we just cloned. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.